clap your hands for the Lord. Anybody else out sick down about 
Is anybody else sick that I don't know anything about? Okay, those are the ones that don't sit. Remember me, special brother. And the rest that are out, just, they just out working some down. Call them. Let's remember them in special prayer. Will you do that? Amen. Let's get ready for the events. He, re he requested this song, so you sing it, and he's going to come out and bring the word to us. There is power. Sorry about that, y'all.
that is rising up and began to break every chain. I believe that we are that army tonight. How do you believe that we are that army tonight? Amen. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. Christ. I hope tonight that you are in high expectation. I yes. am. Amen. See what the Lord is doing with his people. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Let us just bow our heads in a word of prayer. Kind Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you this evening, Lord, for your grace. We thank you for total deliverance, Lord. We thank you for setting the captive free, Lord. God, we thank you tonight, Lord, for sending your word and healing our soul tonight, Lord. We just thank you, O oh God, and how our hearts just burn as we leave this place, Lord. We thank you in advance, Lord. Father God, we just pray, O oh God, that you have full preeminence tonight, Lord. O oh God, you sent your word and you heal us tonight, Lord. Lord God, help us to put on the body word, Lord. Help them not to see flesh, Lord, not to see me, O oh God. But Lord God, let them pull on the body word, Lord. We thank you for all things. In Jesus' name, church, amen, amen and amen. 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 While you're standing, we'll go quickly to the word of the Lord. Yes. There is an army that is rising up to it's break right. every chain. Yes, army. How many you believe that? Amen. amen. We live in an hour now. Amen. We really need the Lord. With, we really need the Lord. While you're standing, turn with me to the book of uh, Luke. Luke, the eighth chapter. I love dealing with it. I preach it many times, but uh, it just goes so many different ways. Amen. Amen. Luke, the eighth chapter, and we read verse twenty-two. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they, and they ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid, wondering, saying, one to another, what manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and water, and they obey him. Amen. Turn to the book of Acts. Acts 27, and verse 31. Paul said unto the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. Let us just bow our heads again. Father, we have read your most precious words. Father, now we pray, God, that you will take these dry lips of clay, Lord. Just move me out of the way, Lord. If you desire to, Lord, even change my whole thoughts, Lord, I'm willing to follow you, O oh God. Father, just speak to our heart and we be glad. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Praise the Lord. I just want to deal tonight by the help of the Lord a little thought that uh, just came to my mind a few, uh, about a month ago and I was just pondering on it. And my thought tonight is we are going to the other side. How many believe that? Amen. We are going on the other side. And my subtopic could be a storm at sea. We live in a time now, Church of Living God, I, a few weeks ago, about a month ago, I, I was, uh, went outside to get something out of the back of the truck, 
And I began to look up and I just look at the stars and I remember some years ago, but I said to myself, I never thought things would be the way they are now. Amen. I never thought I'd see people uh, Christian folk doing things that they're doing now. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a time that we're living in, and sometimes, amen, on this stormy sea that we're in, amen, we're on a stormy sea, but, but we're going on the other side. How many of you believe that? Yeah. Amen. You know, one thing following Jesus, amen, once you uh, stop following him, troubles and trials come your way, amen, yeah. but you got to stay with him. Yeah. You know, my, my mind think about when the disciples when they, when they, when they uh, was following Jesus, if uh, you allow me to say his campaign, his healing, uh, teaching of the, of the parable of the sore, amen. But he told his disciples, he said, let us go to the other side. Amen. Now, I don't know about you, but you need to place yourself there tonight. Amen. amen. You, you tonight, sitting here, we go through trials. Is that right? Amen. We go through things sometimes you don't know you coming or you going. Amen. amen. But God has made a promise to his people, amen, that we are going on the other side. Sometimes we fret and sometimes we get so discouraged and sometimes we beat ourselves up. And sometimes you throw yourself in the dumpster, but you, you need to remember that he said that you're going on the other side. Sometimes we fall so low in lifestyle, amen, sometimes you don't feel like coming to church no more. Sometimes you feel like giving up. Sometimes you don't want to sing no more. Sometimes you don't want to praise the Lord no more, but you need to remember that we are going on the other side. We're living in perilous time. We're living in one of the most dangerous age there is of all mankind. This is the end time. This is the coming of the Lord. This is the rapture age. Can somebody say that? I heard a preacher on the radio the other day. He said, as close as we get to the end, you're going to start seeing people failing away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how many of you believe we're at the end time? Amen. You can start seeing people fading away. Amen. But you know, I thank God for His grace. I thank God for His mercy. Amen. Amen. You know, there's a God that still inside of me. Sometime in this life journey, you don't know what to do, but you got to remember, great is He that is in you than He that is in the world. You got to remember that there's a God inside of you that can take you through every hell storm there is. Amen. He can take you to it and he can bring you right home. I know you feel like giving up. I know you feel like throwing in a towel. But God told you to get on the ship. Remember, you're on the ship with the master. So stay on the ship. Don't beat up yourself. Don't put yourself down. You are a bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ain't got time to beat you up. I want to tell you, you are a daughter, a son of God. Don't let no devil stop you. Take nothing from you. You got to know who you are. No preacher that can put you in hell. There's a sovereignty of God, amen. God rules everything. The prophet of God said, God is the God of the universe. He said, But you listen to man, man will make it look like he's ruling this earth. I thank God. You don't have to fear no man. The Bible said, Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Into the house, the knowledge is pleasant to the soul. You don't have to fear nothing God had to say. We're going on the other side. Amen. Jesus said in John the sixth chapter, verse 38, 39, somewhere up in there, he said, All that the Father has. Is that past tense? All that the Father has given to me, they will come. Amen. So what, what, what are you worried about? If you really know that He called you, there ain't no devil out of hell can stop you. You might take one, two step back, but, but God's going to see that you be able to finish your life. God didn't call you out to lose you. God did not call you out just to lose you. God is not a loser. 
loser. He's a winner. He will take you and prove to the devil you will fall so flat on your face. What do you say? You are in the palm of my head. And no devil can pluck you out. on the, the sixth seal. You know, and I love so well how he explained that some of us is going to be here. Because as sure as I'm black, there's some of us going to be here and see the opening of the sixth seal. And there's going to be some people, amen, that's here tonight that fortify to go on the other side. You, but in this life spin, these trials, these trials, perplex, change of life. You know, can you imagine the disciples when they got on the ship? It might look easy. Oh, they're on the ship with Jesus. Hallelujah. Anytime you're with Jesus, you feel good. Is that right? If there's, if there's death in the home, if there's somebody with high fever, long as Jesus on the boat, you feel all right. If there's trouble in your home, long as Jesus on the boat, you feel pretty good. Where the side when they got on the boat, and when they got on the boat, he told his disciples, so let us go on the other side. Can you imagine they all got on the boat after a great campaign or a great revival? But you know the revival is all gone now. Amen. You got to have a revival burning down your heart. You got to stir up the God that's inside of you, church. Because this world, this day out of seal, is pulling so hard. If you don't fight with everything inside of you, that devil's lying to you every time. He opened his mouth. He lies on Monday. He lies on Tuesday. He lies every day. Every time he opened his mouth, he lies to you. He tells you that you can never be safe. But you need to tell that devil that he is a liar. You need to tell that devil that he's a father of mine. You need to tell that devil I can't go to hell. Hell of the prayer for Satan. He's a father of mine. So I'm not Satan. He's not a father of mine. I'm a son of God. And they, as they begin to leave the shore, I can imagine all of the wheelchairs and 
I can imagine all the marriage that's been broken apart. I can see them coming back together again. I can see the family that's been the, departed. I can see the one that was on drugs. I can see the one that was going through battles in their mind. I can see those that had lust spirits on them. But all of them were standing on the shore when Jesus is inside them. They was going on the other side. And I think so much sometimes there was a purpose for all things. There was a reason why Jesus needed to go on the other side. A lot of us look at him getting on the boat, but there was a purpose why he had to go on the other side. There was somebody on the other side that needed Jesus. Tell everybody, I don't know about you tonight, but you need Jesus to come to your house. You need Jesus to break the chains of Satan in your life. You need Jesus to set you free and you be free. You don't need to listen to the devil. The devil tell you you can't take communion. How can he tell me who I am? Right. I'm perfect. Amen. I can't sin. Come on, follow me. He that is born of God does not commit sin. But sin remains in him. And he cannot sin. Amen. Let's see any man told the prophet one time to pray for this. The prophet God said after his conversion, this this Indian man said, there's two dogs in me. All right now. All right. All right. All right. Come on, Lord. They asked him which one rules the most. It's the one you feed the most. Tell Lord everybody. Tell Lord everybody. I told a brother one time. If y'all don't believe what I'm talking about tonight, I told a brother one time, you living in the same old house, I'm 52 years old, I still got the same curtains on the wall, I still got the same old rug, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm living this old stinking flat, ain't nothing about this flat, gonna change, this flesh up, ain't no good, this flesh is bread to drop, but there's an inside, on the inside, that comes from God, and it's going back to God. The seed that God put inside me. I can't go to hell. I can't go to hell. I've been to hell. I ain't taking that for the devil. I can't go to hell. Hell don't want me. Hell don't want a son of God. Hell is all darkness. Why do hell want light in darkness? The world, a city that sets on hell. That's why I told you, said the Lord is my life and my salvation. I don't have to listen to rap music. I don't have to listen to rap music. By the way, I can go home and take those CDs and break them up because there is power in the name of Jesus. I don't have to wear pants no more. So I say, I don't have to do that no more. We're going on the other side. You know, the Bible says, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Sometimes you need to go places in life. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think the Apostle Peter said, accept these virtues, faith, knowledge, Temple, patient, and godly. Peter said, if these virtues don't flow through you, no. then you're blind and can't see far off. Yeah. And you forgot about the sin that you was in. Yeah. Tell everybody. Who can lay, who can lay, who can lay anything to the charge of God? Jesus ain't. The devil hates me. That's why he fights me so hard. Because I'm a fighter. That's right. Yes, Tell everybody. Yes, 
when we're 63, yeah. Brother Brandon stopped preaching. The mighty angel came down and took the bride over. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Brother Brandon knows his place. Do you know your place? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say something to my whole church people. Free, free, free. No, God didn't call me just to be so, sir. No, no. You need to know what you call for, do you? Hello, everybody. I told Fred Jr. I'll be there with you 100%. But God called me somewhere else. And I need to find out where I'm called to. You need to know what you call for. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Hello, everybody. You need to know what God called you for. And when you get in your place, you beat that devil down. I know when I come home and I watch it. I know when I'm sitting in the church and I'm mad with the preacher. I feel like I can go through a like cold and all. I know when that devil on my show. Get off of me, devil. You ain't got no pen in the house. I'm in the house of the Lord. This is our army rising up. We didn't know who we are. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Let me read something to you. I'm preaching you back to the faith. If you can catch that revelation, that the foundation of God stands assured. Heaven is still. The Lord, the Lord knows them that are His. And that everyone that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Hello, everybody. The more God you get, the more the devil's going to fight you. But I got good news for you. He's not going to stop fighting you until you get on the other side so you can stand in God's arms with the sword and the spirit. You know how you beat that devil on your knee. Don't fight with him. Get on your knee. It's hard to stop when you're on your knee. It's hard to stop him. I know what he told me. He told me that he'll be with me always. You don't know what always is. If I be in the liquor high, he's in there. If I make my bed in hell, he's in there. Somebody gonna help me pray. God is still with me. You can't change the story. See how I preached yesterday. Yeah. 
mentally go ahead and take it in man you gotta be like Paul I fought a good fight I had kept the faith hello everybody so when you stop the fight cause you're not doing a good fight you gotta fight every devil you gotta stay in the name man every lying devil every lustful every hateful devil every gospel devil you gotta stay on Uh, a few weeks when I went up there, he was deacon, and I told him he doing a good job. You know, I tried to encourage people. Because everybody fight now. If you serve the Lord, you fight. If you serve the Lord, it doesn't bother you. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. And the brother told me, he said, he says, uh, he said, you know, Brother Children, he said, there's a cold spirit that's traveling through. He said, that spirit got on me. He said, that spirit makes, try to make me feel like the Lord ain't coming. But he forgot about us. That's impossible. That's impossible. He, he can't leave me. How can he leave me and I come from him? I come from God and I'm going back to God. Hello, everybody. On this storm, the sea that we in. Look at this storm of life that we are on. 2 Thessalonians 2, 1, verse 3. Amen. Now we proceed to brother. And this is what Paul said. By the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now I beseech you, brother. Listen, listen. By the coming of the what? Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Get your microphone. Let me, can I get my microphone? Go right ahead. Give him one. Is that one party? You're getting discouraged now. You got time to be back in the No, sir. No, sir, at all. Amen. You got time to be looking at nobody. You got to worry about it. Just save yourself. It'll make it real easy. Just save yourself. Don't try to save the whole world. Just save yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of this little spot of land. Hello, everybody. This little anchor right here. Take care of yourself. Amen. If you just take care of yourself, make sure yourself all right. I ain't got time to worry about you. Try to see what your wife doing. I got to be worried about my wife. If I want to look at a woman, I need to look at my wife. Don't worry about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we at the end time. You don't see the coldness coming on the church? You got to fight now. Hello, everybody. I came on last night, and all of a sudden, no bug got on me. Uh, uh, there's a little symptom of the flu. My eyes start hurting, nose start running. I said, Lord Jesus. I remember the last time I got up here and tried to preach with the flu, I had a hard time. I said, I don't use a little wisdom this time to tell the pastor I can't make it this time for his ministry. But I, when I got home, my wife said, are you ready to eat? I said, no, I'm going to bed. She asked me what's wrong. And I thank God for it. She came in there and she ate me. She's been my nurse, amen. She came in there and gave me, amen, some things and really took care of me, amen. Then I, what I did, I covered my whole body. And that fever was all in my body. I said, you're going to break tonight. You're going to break tonight. I said, this message is too important. You're going to break tonight. God don't let me preach tonight. I said, you fever, you got to be me. I didn't come in this world with a fever, and I'm going to preach me tonight. I covered my whole body. When I covered my whole body, I felt the fever. When it began to break, hallelujah. Oh, everybody, and sometimes you got to cover your whole self in the word of God. Put on the whole arm of God. Let you be able to stand against the power of the devil. You gotta turn yourself. Hold on, everybody. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. 
used to read, folks was really interested in what you said. They get the Bible too. But they don't yes, know that sir. Yeah. 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 That's why they're way out in left field. Yeah. That goes out, they don't even know where it's at. Yeah. They didn't get a Jehovah's Witness a hard time. Ago, two guys with a bag, and you know, and I walked out. And I said, Sir, I said, I had to go do a little side jogging, dog. I said, Sir, I said, right now you come at the wrong time. I hand them like a man, but I see a lot of messes, people, and, and so called Christians. Man, I told them to go with me, get out of my yard, go back to the devil. At least they're doing something. Right! What are you doing? Who are you with me to this week? So leave with your home with us alive. And you all they can. You ain't doing nothing. When the last time you witnessed and saw all that job. When the last time you told somebody about this great message. No, you got it all for yourself. You know what? You don't go stand in the regional law with all that stuff you got in you. Hello, everybody. Why well, tell them to you with us? Get out of my yard. Don't bring me that mess. It's your time. Maybe it'll give you a little spark. I've been in a time before you just start getting to bring the Bible. I ain't bring Bible. If my Bible, if your Bible accumulates too much dust, you too busy. Right. That's right. Hello. So folks don't even read the Bible. You know what you do that for home. And you know what I'm you know, I, I blame the parents because I, I bought my children stuff. So Come on! You be, you be talking to your kid and they don't be have a word you say. Okay, you go back, they got them plugs in. Okay, That's it! What you say? What you say? And I got to stop the whole sentence over again. Hello, everybody. What's going on? What's going on? No more family on time. No more prayer. You ask them, what happened in our day? They don't even know. They're looking at Beyonce, and Beyonce worship elbows. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. You're looking at Beyonce. You wish you could like Halle Berry. Halle Berry born in the region of the world. You better be like Jesus. You better be like Sarah. You better be like Rachel. Listen, 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 your mind's swing more, Mark. Listen to that now. Read it again. Don't let your mind leave. Keep it here. Come on, we catch the sailors later. Scroll for the clothes. Come on. I'll have the eyes over here. I beseech you. We beseech you, brother, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind. Shaken by in mind. Or be troubled. Troubled by what? Neither by spirit. By spirit. By spirit. Troubled by what? By word, by word, by word, by word. Not by spirit. Somebody that spirit bothered me. This spirit bothered me. Sure. That's just to get on my nerve. That's something bothering you. You can't get over yourself. That way, that bad for my she gets on my nerve. That wife be doing a thing to you. You first of all gotta get over yourself. You don't even know that. Brother, you 
you need to know who you are. You need to know that you got power in the devil. When you get ready to submit yourself, he'll take over. As long as you love that devil, he's going to stay right there. That devil ain't going nowhere. You can hand that devil back. As long as you love that spirit, that other body, that man in action. Walk up to Brother Brandon, too much some power. So I'll break every bone in your body. And not only that, he spit in the prophet's face. Are we ready to take a spit? <laughs> so much can all stand folks talking about. Man, this song the song that I was going to sing. Uh oh. You said you had a song. Man, look at him wearing a suit like I was wearing. They make them all over the United States of America. What you worried about? You getting a shoe look like mine. Man, they got shoes all over the place. That's Corinthian church. My mind is on the third. We got to get out of here. This is a fake the saint. For a fake the other saint. For the other kind of the body. And we all come into the unity of the faith. There's got to be a unity. We got to come together, people. So we shake my words. I got to finish this. I, 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 I got to finish this. Know my letter as from us. And that the day of Christ is at hand. Yes. Let no man deceive. Let no man deceive. No man. By any means. By, by, by who? By any means. Now, don't let nobody see That's you. Right. You better keep your eyes on the word. Hello, everybody. Man will fail you. If you get a man up, he'll fail you. Hello, everybody. God knows I love my past. Stand up, little friend. Look, I love my past. But I don't live to know how that he's going to go. He's God's servant. I love him. But as a father, he's going to be. He's not pastor. He's not shepherd. But he's not God. God lives in him. Tell everybody. I'm not stop giving up. Jesus Christ. God, I mean, you can work my hand. Amen. 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 I think that what happened to a lot. This said Jimmy Swagger. Jimmy Swagger. I used to listen to that Jimmy Swagger. And Jimmy Swagger had some big words. Lord, I tell you what, his vocabulary was real big. Jimmy Swagger preached, but you know what Jimmy Swagger Jim and Swagger said, cause his fall. He let down his prayer life. Every time when you back up on prayer, there's no option. You got to pray. If you understand this shit, you got to pray. But I'm trying to tell you, church, of the living God, we living in the last days. You got to press the battle. You got to press the battle. I tried this one. Right. Somebody turn that clock right there. Ain't no way it's nine, almost nine o'clock. I tell you, we're breaking time here. Now I know. I know. So when you're ready to go home. Yes, sir, that's the truth. When you go home, can you get on your game? Why you want to go home so you get on Facebook? Oh! Oh! And not fall that this and you ready to go home? Not Facebook. Where you want to go home for? I mean, you go some of you go to Wendy's, some of you go to Burger King, some of you just go home and go home. But when you're in the presence of the Lord, you need to pull for the power of the Lord. I ain't got no time to come to church with a devil on my shoulder. Hello, everybody. I ain't let no devil down me. Hello, everybody. Because God is inside. Where they got on the boat? Where they got on the boat? I met Jesus when he got on the boat. As a man, he must have saw that brother Fred. The boat just rocking. He said, he said, mm. I'm just paraphrasing that. So many critics gonna say that. Brand ain't say that. 
We got him in there to church now. Brother Brandon said that. My brother off. Then they didn't turn me off. Go ahead and turn me off. It ain't for you anyhow. <laughs> I can imagine Jesus sitting there. Mm. Mm. My head is killing me. Mm. I can imagine Peter said, My Lord, won't you go lie down? Go take a nap. Uh -huh. Jesus went down in the heather part of the boat. He went down. I think the Bible says he laid down on a pillar. Now, the disciples didn't realize that the very creator. The spoke in the sea came to existence. Amen. The one that can speak to the stars and the stars hands in his heart <coughs> was in the boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the only thing they see was a man right. about 130 pounds. Yeah. That's all they saw. Hello, everybody. Sometimes I tell my wife, I say, honey, I live with you, but you, you don't know who I am. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's all right, sweetheart. I'm, I'm preaching raptures right now. You ain't got to worry about it. I, I told my wife she had a little flu or something came on. I said, uh, something I was teaching her about. I said, uh, something I said to her. And I said, uh, I forgot what it was, but I spoke and I said, uh, I'm a son of God. She said, well, you see, you wait till you get on you. I said, it can't come on me. I said, I'm a son of God. I said, it can't come on me. I said, I'm a son of God. Then I said, Lord, I said, Lord, please back you. Paul said, I'm bold, so I'm bold, sing the Lord. Hello, everybody. Sometimes we speak real bold, but sometimes we need to make sure the Lord got our back, amen. Sometimes we step out there on a limb sometimes. We need to look back and make sure the Lord got your back. Hello, everybody. Sometimes you go down in the hell sometimes. You need to look back and make sure God got your back. Jesus went on the street, but they didn't realize that's all they need. But remember, he wasn't in them, he was with them. Hello, everybody. I think Jesus said one time, he told his disciples, he said, the day will come, y'all desire to see the Son of Man. But you won't live to see the Son of Man. But we are living to see the Son of Man veiled in flesh. Amen. This is the day that the disciples desire to see. Amen. But we are living in the very hour. Amen. Hello, everybody. Brother Brown knew his age. What do you think Brother Brown spoke squirrels into existence? Show the bride what we got to come to. Hello, everybody. It's about time for you to get back on your knees and tell them devils that man is a God that lives inside of me. Hello, everybody. You need to get to a place where you can lay your hands on the sick and they shall be called. You need to get to a place where your shall begin to heal. You need to get to a place where demons flee. Take your own place. Brother Brandon lived a life so much, Brother Fred. Brother Brandon lived so close to God. I forgot how he'd go. He said, when in this play, he said this lady was demon possessed. Uh, she didn't show it. He said, no, it's every time you get close to her, she back off. And some of you got demons on your now. I mean, you go over the night, look in the mirror at yourself. A demon that was pressing on your face. You say, go home and the way you look at now, go home and look in the mirror. And look, look, the same way you look at now, before I make that statement, some of you got demons on your now. You mad, who you mad at? You mad with yourself. You got to overcome yourself. Hello, everybody. I got money in, I don't see you ready to go. Oh, you preach it too long. Trying to make it pretty short so they go home. I, I'm gonna preach what God gave me tonight. Then we go home. Then we the end of the chapter. Amen. Then we go and pour around me. You pour around me, everything in. But now I'm on an anointing of God. And we're gonna preach what God said to all. If you 
trying to tell the pastor to stop you looking at the watch. Just wait for the stage is shot. We fight more demons than we ever before. 
we're not right where it's supposed to be. And God's going to prove the same. In the midst of the unseal, I'm going to bring a bride out. Go everybody. To break every chain. To break every chain. How many of you know you're free tonight? Who the Son is set free? It's free tonight. I'm going home tonight. Shout hallelujah. I'm going home tonight with a dance in my feet. I'm going home tonight with a shout. I'm going home tonight because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Some people are happy. But some people got joy. I got joy. Joy in my heart. Hello, everybody. I got joy in my heart. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. I got joy in my heart. And I got joy in my heart. I might be broke, but I still got joy. I might be living long, but I still got joy. Hello, everybody. That may not go the way I want it, but I still got joy. Now, some people got just happiness. Oh, it's a difference. That'll fade away. Some people really be real happy about the month of February and March. Yeah, man, that's right. Y'all want me to go into it? February and March. Someone you couldn't get mad now for nothing. It's tax time. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Someone you got joy. When your husband gives you money, oh, you feel happy. You feel nice. Oh, oh Easter, you got a nice, you got clothing on. You so happy, man. But you take a person, ain't got nothing. But they got joy in the heart. When the devil try to beat them down, do you know what they're saying? This guy can pass every test. Go hell and save me. I'm going to trust in the Lord. Because it's a doctrine time. It's the rising of the sun. It's shalom for the fight. We are going on the other side. I'm not getting on this ship for nothing. Yes, I'm going to stay until we see on the other side. Yes, sir. On August of 1963, God Major Prophet William Brown preached a message called Perfect Faith. In that sermon, he said some stirring things. He declared that our faith can be perfect. And not only that, but he went on to say that it must become perfect before we can be raptured. Not in the Son. Paul said in Thessalonians that that day shall not come. What day? That rapture day ain't gonna come. come on, man. I said there'll be a great falling away. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. But I ain't going there. Amen. Amen. I'm looking for that resurrection. Amen. So my wife said to me last night she had had, had me all stir, almost changed my taste. You know. It made me feel good when my wife stirred up. Yes, Amen. Sir. It made me feel good because I, I want to be on my, on my, on my tail. Okay. It, it's bad when a man is stirred. He's supposed to be leading his home. All right. He's all up in the hell of Egypt. Yeah. I ain't going to leave his wife. He's all in the hell of Egypt playing game. Yeah. And she's looking at him. He's supposed to be a leader in the home. Yeah. What kind of man is that? Go on and read his Bible. Can't even pray. Can't even do nothing. Somebody lead his family. Yeah. Where is he leading her to? Yeah. My wife, yes, we'll be here. We'll be here. We'll be the boss. Can you boss? Come on, somebody. Hello, everybody. That guy told me on the job. He said, Ray, do we want you to come and preach us a sermon. I didn't thought about it a few days later. I said, I don't just need to preach your sermon. First of all, I need to live your sermon. Amen. I ain't so much worried about preaching a sermon. Let me live a sermon first. Let me live a sermon. Let me be a written person. Bread of all men. Somebody, he'll come against me. See me stand strong, amen. Let me stand like strong ball jacks. When the fist of bullets shoot over my head, let me stand for liberty. Let me stand for God. Let me stand for being Jesus Christ. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close. I go over my head. I hit my nine thirty. Let me hit the highlights right quick. But the disciples, they got on that boat. All of a sudden. The, Jesus and I went to sleep and a little strong wind started blowing 
Look at all the trials that come to your life. Yes, sir. And trials get greater. Yes. And they get greater. Yes. And they get greater. Yes, sir. Sometimes I wish they'll cool off. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> say if it ain't one thing, it's another. Yeah. 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 But now if it ain't one thing, thing it's two or three. Yeah. 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 Amen. I mean, when you got things fixed on this end, yeah. it breaks loose on this end. Yeah. When you try to pull it together, it pops loose on both ends. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes you don't know what to do. Yeah. But that's when you need to stand still yeah. and see the salvation of the Lord. Yeah. God is only testing you. Yeah. God is only going to prove to you that I got a child. I don't care what they're going through. I'm going to prove to the devil that they're my child. I'm not going to go through that because they are my son. They are my daughter. Some of you beat yourself all up. Do something that got you all feet back. You got your hand all bound up. You want to praise the Lord? He said, You can't praise the Lord. And you talking back to him. You don't know what you just did? Yeah, I know what I did, but. How are you going to praise the Lord? That, you know that, that's religious. Come on. Go ahead. Thank you, You want to break it loose? You want to fall in? You want to break it loose? Come on. But don't you do that. You need to go home and pray for it. You going to let the devil tell me? Don't, don't praise the Lord. Don't praise the Lord. You know if you jump, they're going to be looking at you. They know what you did. Cats for this thing. One person in, you got to die for yourself. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. You better try to serve God. You better straighten your pure mind. You better get back to God. You better get back on the altar. He says, Well, we don't have all night prayer. You got a home. It starts home. Then I come aboard. Then they got to start home. That's not in the church. You got to start at home. When you start at home, then I come in the church. We need prayer, the most powerful weapon that was ever placed in the hand. No, we don't want to pray. We don't want to pray. We want to read some love story. Go to sleep, read a love story. At night, you're scared for the lights going. Oh, no, good Lord. What, what's wrong? If you read your Bible and you read about Jesus, you go to sleep in the dark. Hello, everybody. I'm talking about perfect faith. But when Jesus decided when the ship got all stored, shaking all over the place, water dashing in, sometimes you don't know what to do. But you know what I'm going to do? I, I'm just going to quit. God, so Ain't nobody in that church love me. God, nobody in that church love me. Okay. You know what? I'm going to find me another church. Do what you got to do. Hello, everybody. This church belongs to the bride of Jesus Christ. Wherever you go, the devil is going to be there too. Hey, everybody, you got to know where God sent you at. And you got to fight the gates of hell that come against you. Or the devil is going to try you. But you got to know where you stand. You got to put your foot down and say, This is where I stand. Amen. I know who I am. Amen. I know who I am. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. I know who I am. Amen. I know what I'm raised up for. Amen. Where the trials come, let them come. Amen. They're only making me strong. Amen. Hello, everybody. They're only making me strong. They show me I need to pray more. Amen. Hello, everybody. When I'm sitting there, show me I need to pray more. Hello, everybody. When the enemy come, they won't shake me so bad because I got a prayer life. Hello, everybody. When I heard somebody talking about me, it won't bother me. You know why? You know what I said? Oh, he didn't mean no harm. They were just, they were just you. That's all right. That's still my brother. But when I ain't got a prayer life, I want to hear the next pain. I need to know more. But if I got a prayer life, it won't be that way. Hallelujah. I said, Jesus, need to go on the other side. It was predestined for him to go on the other side. Can you imagine? Mm. On the other side, just before that ship got there, there was a man 
I have legions of devils on me. That may need freedom. And maybe you tonight. There's something bothering you. But you need freedom. Amen. Christ is here again. He's coming. And he's coming. We love his appearance. I said Jesus is coming. Maybe you got something you can't overcome. But you need to make up in your mind. Hello. I heard a sister say that or not. She overcome something that was rousing her. I better wave my hand and say, sister, me and you on the same boat. I was rousing a devil a few weeks ago. But God gave me liberty. God gave me freedom. And I've been running. And he's been talking. I ain't been looking back. I've been studying running. But the disciples, when that ship got all out tossing and the waves and dashing in, oh my God. And I could see the disciples ran out there and they said, Master, wake up. <laughs> we need to wake up to Jesus yes, that's inside of us. Yes, we don't need to panic. No. Fear is torment. Yes. It is of the devil. Yes. Brother Brandon said, God, he said, the devil, the devil loves for to panic. Yes. Time you see something happen. Oh my God. Oh. What's that? Oh, that must be cancer. Oh, 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 that. Oh, I must have got sugar. Oh, Come on, breathe. Don't say nothing. Yes, Brother Brandon said this man wrote out everything that he had. And he carried up to the problem. And said Brother Brandon wasn't a real problem. He told Brother Brandon, I got sugar, I got this, and I got that. And Brother Brandon told this man that he didn't have that. Amen. The prophet God made a statement. He said, you watch them spirit. He said, you watch the servant as it begin to move. He said, God, you want to set some people free. He said, just before that, one spirit, I'll talk to another spirit. One spirit, I'll talk to another spirit. He said, that spirit gang up. If they can get in your head, they'll tell you, oh, that's nonsense. But let me tell you tonight, if I'm bound tonight, there ain't no devil gave me to stop me tonight. I want to be free tonight. I want to go home tonight. Free, amen. Where am I going to my home? I'm going to go home with you, man. I'm going to go home behind me. We charge it in John's class. But Jesus woke up. You know the story. He called him to see. This is what my man is dead. But when Jesus got off of the boat, this man come running up to him. Had legions. A devil. Say, we look at the man that had legions. Let me tell you something worse than that. It's a religious spirit. Amen. Yeah, true. Amen. Yes, sir. We look at that man with a leech. You know that man running around naked? That man had a stitch of clothes on. Man running in caves. Perhaps chasing rabbits. Pulling their heads off. He was wild. They bound him one time. He broke loose. He had demons all over him. But you look at that man. But what about you? Amen. When you're in church in one way, Amen. when you get back home, oh my. you ain't changed. Oh my. You know. oh my. What if you talk to your husband nice in church, but when you get him down the road, you talk another way? You bound and change. What if you treat your wife good in here and you get her home and you talk the other way? You bound and change. You need Jesus to set you free tonight. You need to be something free tonight. I don't know about you tonight, but when Jesus get off that boat, I'm running to Jesus. It's a Lord Jesus. Set me free. Amen. Amen. And when Jesus got off that boat, that man ran up to him. He asked him, what is your name? He said, my name is Legion. Well, let me tell you, church, he set him free. I think history called that man become a missionary. Yeah. Amen. One time, God, when God do something good for you, yeah. you need to go tell somebody else. Tell everybody. I'm talking about when God do good things for you. God does something so good for me. I said, I sing every time I get a chance. I shout every time I get a chance. I can let no gravity hold my hand out. Tell everybody. Every time I get a chance, I praise him. I praise him when I was in the organization. Now I'm in the message of God. Stop me. All right. All right. All right. You know, Brother Wheeler Ham, I don't know about you, but I remember when we was in Pentecost and all of say, people used to praise the Lord. And hallelujah. We had all true. But now they come in the mess and now they got stiff calls. Too stiff now to praise the Lord. They look at you funny when you throw your hand. They look at you funny.
funny brother Calvin. We're gonna get up here singing and beat the thing. This is really what's wrong with him. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna ask you what are you doing. He's the man singing. Hello, everybody. You ain't doing nothing but you judge him. You sit on the top. He sees you doing something for God. What are you doing? Oh, she's singing too loud. What is you doing? Hello, everybody. What is you doing? I want to be found doing something. Oh, I'm going to let you go before the God here. I'm saying to Jesus, when Jesus set that man free, as he was gone, a man, Jerias, ran and met him and said, Master, he said, my, my daughter is sick. I want you to come and pray for her. She is sick. And as Jesus was gone, there was a woman. She heard about him, amen. But she couldn't come out in the daytime. She heard about him. Hello, everybody. Maybe you that woman tonight. Maybe you that church tonight. Then why the anointed here? Why Jesus passing by? You need to touch the hem of his God. That burden, that trial that you going through. You don't work yourself so hard. You don't even want to praise him no more. Hello, everybody. If a job cut my pray, something got to go. There's nothing going to take away from the love of God. But Jesus was slaying devils all over the place. Hello, everybody. And that woman with the issue of blood, with her, she spent all the money she had. She must have a big bank account, but she lost. She spent everything. Kept going to position. One position told her that if she come back, she was still losing blood. So another sister said, well, you need to go to Dr. Wu. So she went to Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu couldn't help her. You need to go to Dr. Phil. Went to Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil can't help her. Went to Dr. Jack. Dr. Jill. Dr. 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 And she messed around with bro. Nobody can help her. But when you get broke, hey amen, then you'll get some sense in your head. You're going to save that money and call on Jesus. Hello, everybody. You know what she did? She said, if I can just touch the hem of his body. I ain't got to touch the whole body. Just let me touch the hem of his God. Hello, everybody. I can imagine Brother Dad. She pressed to the crowd. She didn't worry about who was looking. Brother Dad, I can imagine. She, I just, and folks are looking all loud and stuff. Yeah. Folks are thinking crazy. But when you get started by God, you can do something. Hello, everybody. She said, I can just touch the hem of his God. I don't know about you. I won't go back home when the devil's on me. Hello, everybody. You know what I do tonight? I set myself free tonight. Who the sun set free? I'll be free tonight. Hello, everybody. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his God. And Jesus said, somebody touch me. Oh, he was doing some all kind of miracles. Amen. Hey, man, after that lady was set free, Jesus was walking on. Then somebody ran and told some master. Master, don't worry about coming now. Don't worry about coming now. The girl is dead. Amen. Jesus said, she's not dead. Amen. She's only sleeping. Amen. And the Bible said they're laughing and scorn. You know, a lot of people don't believe in the supernatural. Okay. My wife told me something last night. She said, you know, people look for the rapture. You know the dead in Christ got to rise first. Yes. We got to be in a channel so we can see them saying something on the other side. Hello, everybody. Now today in the church of the living God, we can't see them saying on the other side with our head all into our own body. Right? Everybody has penis. Hello, everybody. You got to keep your mind on Christ and you got to see them saying. Hello, everybody. I'm talking about the same person that we saw rolling in the casket. We'll see him again. We'll see her again. Hello, everybody. But you got to stay on the ship. Hello, everybody. Can the church say amen? Right quick, right quick. Five more minutes. Paul got on the ship, and Paul had to go to Rome. About 200 something soldiers, prisoners. But Paul, God had told Paul, uh, Paul was going over to, to Rome. I think he had to go before Caesar. It's all right, brother Mike. But Paul had to go. But Paul told the centurion, said, hey amen, they were they was taking a sail. But the wind uh, got up a little bit. And Paul thinks he came to fair heaven or something like that. I don't know all those big words. You got, you got to read it for yourself. But when he got to fair heaven, Paul told him, said, you don't go nowhere. But they listened to the centurion, listened to the owner of the ship. Is that right? And they listened to the owner of the ship. And they went on. And sometime in this hour, we don't want to listen to what God has brought us in this hour. Amen. God has sent us a prophet in this hour. And we want to take some of commentary. God has sent us a prophet in this age with thus says the Lord. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. 
they got this this art magazine out. They said, they said, Brother Brandon made a mistake. It said 16 men that never fell off the bridge. I crossed over that same bridge. Let me tell you, they don't record everything that happened. Hello, everybody. I was on the job about 23 years ago. A man fell 60 feet, hit the ground. They put up safety net, had him on sea, uh, had him on news that night. The man fell between two safety net. There wasn't a net nowhere around. The media lied. And folks trying to lie, trying to make Brother Brown look like a false prophet. I don't care what you say. He is my prophet. And that's what I stay with. And he has just said the law. He is my prophet. I want the world to know. We have got a prophet. He was my prophet. I don't worship him, but he was my prophet. And they, 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 they went on sailing. Then a storm came up. The ship tossed to and fro. And sometimes we don't stay with the prophet said. Storms come in your life. Trials come in your life. Things that you cause on yourself. Hello, everybody. But you know what? Don't get discouraged. Stay on the ship. And the Bible said that they ain't seen our moon, our star for 14 days. Can you imagine being on the ship, black dark, and you look like nobody going to come and help you. You look like nobody don't care. You suffer with this disease. It seems like nobody care. I'm feeling afraid of this right now. And Paul told them, you know what Paul told them? Paul went to pray that night. And the angel Lord, Paul told him, said, Sir, you should have listened to me. He said, but our angel of the Lord stood beside me tonight and said, there's not a hair on your head. We'll be home. But Paul said, according to the vision, the ship's going to wreck. But not a one of you going to be home. And my closing tonight, Fred, will you come? My closing tonight, stay on the ship. Amen. Keep your eyes on the word. Keep your eyes on the word. Somebody just said, Jesus, keep me near the cross. There's a lot of trial that comes our way. I don't know what's going to come our way next. I don't know. All I have to do is pray for my brother and my sister. I don't know what's going to face me tomorrow. But I know who holds tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I know God will be with me everywhere I go. There's an army that's rising up to take a stand in this church. We got time to be in no foolishness. We got time to be on the phone. Have you heard? Dipping and dabbing. All that I'm trying to do, as for me and my heart, we're going to serve the Lord. As for me and my heart, we're going to keep pushing forward. Hello, everybody. I don't want the world to come in my heart. I don't want my wife, my children, to dress like the women of the world. I want my children to look like Christians. Hello, everybody. We call it we're living in the last days. There's an army rising up on the prayer. Play that song first for me. How many you believe that tonight? There's an army raising up tonight. They're breaking the chain. How many you believe that tonight? Don't be dismayed. It seemed like Myself went through a little trial. Was it Willie Hampton? Like I got two, two steps back. But taking two steps back, I had to fight that much hard to catch back up. Then you know what God said? I never did lose you. I never did lost one. He said, I'll never lose you. I'll never forsake you. And I'm sitting here. Tell the Lord all what I've done, done wrong. And he's looking at me and says, son, what are you talking about? Well, Fred, he's looking at me and said, what are you talking about? I said, Lord, you don't know what happened to me a few years ago. He said, what are you talking about? And I'm trying to explain to him, and he can't even comprehend what I'm saying. You know why? Because his blood is so strong there. It covers all of my sin. That's why I stand perfect tonight. To break every chain. The break every chain. Don't let the devil beat you down. You're made to be free tonight. You're made to be free tonight. How many of you tonight? You're made to be free tonight. I want you to go back to your, your room tonight. I want you to go back to Folk Jackson or wherever you got to go. 
Remember who you are. There's a purpose why you're here tonight. You are a son or daughter of God. You don't have to listen to the devil no more. The devil is only a bluff. He don't have no power. Jesus Christ destroyed him at Calvary. You need to know as great as he that's living inside of you. And he that's inside of you can break every chain. How many of you love the Lord? You, you might say you love the Lord. I'm going to say this right here. I remember a few Sundays ago, the pastor was preaching son. I think he hit on homosexuality. He said, how many of you stand with me on something like that? Why? Raise your hand. Amen. Hands went up everywhere. The whole sanctuary hands was up. He said, Brother Calvin, take that camera and spin it around. Hands stop coming down. Amen. Let it come from the heart. Amen. These laws that they're going to pass in the United States of America, you better know your God. Amen. You better know your God. Amen. How many of you believe there's an army rising up? Sing that for the brother Fred. There's an army rising up. Let us all stand. Come on, let's give them a wave off. There's an army. Let us sing it. 